Hey everybody, Mountain Dew Mania here, and welcome back. No, don't go that way. Run, 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 run. Uh, welcome back to my second video. Uh, oh God, I'm surrounded. Of uh, my Tin Can Challenge 2000 Pet Edition. And if you've been keeping up, and I sincerely hope you have, this is going to be the next three months. Is going to be random videos, at least one a week, and we are playing for pounds of food and my food will be going to our local animal shelter here in my hometown and remember when I do my charity drives I do not want your money now some people have already asked me can they donate money if you want to that's fine okay I do not have a problem with that there is a link um, on my YouTube channel uh, down at the corner of the banner that goes straight to my PayPal. If you want to do that, that's fine. I will buy pounds of food with it. I will keep track of it on the Facebook page, and that will be fine. But I would rather that you find a animal shelter close to your hometown and donate go check them out now some I have had different people already tell me that they have went to oh I died <laughs> um, yes for charity it's for charity people come on what are you people doing don't eat me it's for charity <gasps> oh, I'm covered up but uh, some people have said that they have uh, contacted a shelter near them and some people uh, have said that uh, they want certain kinds of food well I mean I can understand that if they want their animals to have a consistent diet all the time uh, they will only accept certain foods some places only want money and they want to uh, buy their own supplies so you're gonna have to check with whatever shelter you go to or whatever organization uh, is in your town that you decide that you want to do this charity for um, you're gonna have to check I will put a list of common things that charity that um, animal shelters ask for usually when you go in and ask if you can donate they no 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 please 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 no um, they will um, have a um, I hate people <laughs> they will have a list already printed out of things they accept uh, for donations uh, sometimes they want like three by three cards for when they have adoption day uh, you know for information on the animals uh, sometimes they want folding tables uh, for adoption days um, carriers litter I mean it just it goes on and on I mean things that they I mean I like I said there's gonna be a whole list um, of page uh, a page uh, that I found that are common things that uh, animal shelters ask for um, a couple of places that I really want I've been really doing a lot of research for a couple of months now and I think I've probably only scratched the surface um, one place that I went on Facebook was the Petco Foundation I'm a big supporter of Petco uh, we don't have one here but they do do a lot of charity work and things like that and um, I just I, I appreciate that I'm an animal lover so so I went and talked to um, chatted with the, the person one of the people over at the Petco Foundation on the Facebook page and I immediately liked their answer because their first uh, I said you know what charities do you support and you know um, can I like give you a shout out or you know is there somewhere in, and the first thing they said was get, look in your own community first uh, to if you want to do some kind of charity work uh, so he said usually local charities that do not get any kind of support government support federal anything like that from the city or the town or the county that they're in they need the most help that was pretty much his quote so I, I like that answer uh, they want they want you to go straight to the source so to speak um, I have put up different kind of um, like videos on the Facebook page the the tin oh I died uh, the tin can challenge Facebook page about you know I'm always worried I guess everybody is about fraud you know I mean you see these huge 
well, that didn't last long. Oh, my Lord. You see these huge organizations that get these millions and millions of dollars. And, I mean, you know, everything has to be public record. Good Lord, I'm just dying all over the place. Uh, but you, it just seems that none of the money ever goes to where you think it should go. I mean, you know, if they're... I don't know. It just some of the things that they give money out to, like for sponsors and and I mean, you know, and it just expenses and stuff. I'm just like, I mean, I don't understand it. It just I don't I don't trust them. I'm sorry. I would rather find something local, small that I know needs something besides money. Not every like I said, uh, not everybody asks for money. You can help charity. And you can do it without giving money. You can give stuff. That's the kind of charity I want to be involved with, you know. So you know that you are actually physically helping, okay. And it is appreciated. It does not have to have a dollar sign in front of it. Woo, please let me have you. Oh, please let me have you. I need you, please. <laughs> oh, he's going to outrun me. Oh, great. Well, I died. Uh, so another place that I looked at, there's a lot of, most of these companies and places like this, if they sell animal, if they're involved with like selling animal food or like Petco, uh, PetSmart, most of these places, if you check, they have some sort of charity page or a Twitter where you can get involved with whatever charities they're involved with. So if you have one of these stores in your neighborhood or in your town or city, check with them. They will be a good resource for checking out different animal charities um, around your area. They will they will be in the know. You know what I'm saying? So, but there, uh, Pet Finder is another one. Um, uh, one that I'm really looking into right now is. Uh, uh, the the Twitter is at Pets for Patriots. It uh, hooks up uh, wonderful animals that need a home with Patriots. Um, and I think that is just totally awesome. Might want to give them a look. Um, you can do look on for the Twitter um, at Pet Smart Charities. Okay, that's another good one. Uh, let me tell you that I have, like I said, most of these places just need shout-outs, you know? They need the public to know about them. And some of them, is, it's all volunteers. They do not get paid, okay? Uh, thank you, I needed that. Uh, they do not get paid uh, to do anything, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just, it's all volunteers. And sometimes it might be, Two or three volunteers. Sometimes it could be fifteen hundred volunteers. But um, it's just oh please no 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 don't eat me please. I'm really sucking today. I this is this is terrible. Um, but the one that I have really um, looked at is there is a good website called iheartdogs.com. Uh, Small i. I'll put all this in the description for you. Uh, you might want to take a cruise by there. they got some very wonderful information there. And there's one that I've been really looking at, and I think this is the coolest concept I've ever seen. It is www.candlesfordogs.com. And basically, you buy a candle. It's like 12 bucks or something, uh, seven, ten, whatever it is. And they, you help a dog basically from what i've read you basically help a dog go to college and what i mean is it gets trained as a service animal and um like seizure dogs and for the blind and therapy animals they you actually help send a dog to college I th and they have pictures you know what dog you're supporting this month and what dog they're sending to what school check it out totally awesome what they're doing there are so many of these smaller uh please let me get out of here uh there are so many of these smaller charities that just i i think they just get they get lost in the mix you know what i'm saying they just do not get enough a attention um and they really deserve it because they're the backbone they're the guys that are doing the work so that's why i stress to you 
check your own communities first not just with this charity drive that we're doing right now but with any charity check your community first uh, to see what is going on that's pretty slick uh, uh, you I mean help at home first you know what I'm saying hey if that was Jack Septic guy is that if that is you if I go to your channel you hear me I want I want you to do the 10 can challenge if you uh, subscribe to Jack there he is if that's him uh, if you see me on his video, if he does a video, God, I wish that would, that would be so cool. Somebody challenge Jack to the tin can challenge right now. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. Um, so, yeah, it's um, it's amazing how many animals just get... I'm not going to hurt you, Jack. I'm not going to hurt you, Jack. Oh, I love you, Jack. But, uh, yeah, it's just amazing. The volunteers and the hours that people put in trying to help um un, you know animals that are hurt and just abandoned and uh you know just been cruel to it's uh, it's staggering it really is and if we can do just a little bit to help then that's awesome so that is our goal uh we will be i will be doing these for just randomly the next three months april may june okay and the next quarter, uh, we will start another charity. But I really think that we can uh, do a lot of good. So, keep an eye on the Facebook page, 10 Can Challenge 2000, okay? Hi, Jack. And, like I said, tweet, if you are a YouTuber, please get this out there. I want everybody to do this challenge. Uh, if you have time to do it, if you are a pet lover, please take up my challenge, okay? So let me hear. I'll, here you go, Jack. I'm going to feed you, honey. Woohoo! There we go, guys. Thank you so much. This is Mountain Dew Mania. This is 10 Can Challenge 2000. Let's make a difference. So out of here, guys. Later.